Hi, I'm Lynn with Lunate Rubber Stamps, and today we're going to talk about two different masking techniques. The first one is a very simple technique, and the second one we're going to be layering stamps on top of another stamp. And that will give you a good idea of exactly what it is. It's the first technique I ever learned. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start by masking a simple moon and then I'm going to stamp the Silhouette Wolf right on top of it. And then we will put two stamps together but make it look like it's all one stamp. So we're going to start with our paper and I actually found these stick it all over post-it notes. So that makes it really nice and simple. And you're just going to eyeball where you want it. And the nice thing is, like I said, it sticks all over so you don't have to worry about your post-it note coming up. I'm going to use my day and night set. And I'm going to start with my favorite and that would be the fellow blue. And we're just going to smear it all over. And I wanted a little bit of purple on the bottom, so I'm going to use the violet. And the nice thing is, then I can just kind of go right into the blue with the violet and, and it'll naturally do some blending. I can go back over with the blue again. If I want it to not be quite as purpley. This is totally a preference of what you personally like to do. I like a little bit of the purple in there. And now we're just going to pull up the little post-it notes. It's great if you get to use it more than once, but it's okay if you don't. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my, my fine pearl um, pan pastel. And that would be this one right here. And I'm just going to put it all over the moon. And I'm doing this for two reasons. This will give me a nice shimmery moon, but also the ink um, will not sink in as much to the paper if I have pan pastel over the whole thing. Now, I'm not going to worry too much that a little bit of blue is getting into it because um, the moon is not completely white, so if you get a little bit of a wispy look across your moon, that's actually okay. So, there. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to just stamp right on top of it. I'm going to put my, my moon right up in the corner. And to make sure I have it where I want it, I actually take it right off and put it on my paper. There you go. Now I always use oversized paper so I have lots of room for my magnets. So I don't really have to worry too much about, about that. And I really don't worry about getting a little pan pastel on the stamp either. Now for this one, I'm using VersaClair. And I will have to stamp a couple of times. Try one more time. And if the wolf continues to come out lighter in the end, I will just um, go ahead and use embossing powder and emboss it to give it that dark, dark look. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And that was a very fast card. 
So, and then all you have to do is um, do a little bit of layering and uh, this is ready to go into a card. Alright, the next one, it takes a little bit of preparation work ahead of time. And all that is, is you're going to stamp on a post-it note, which I did already, and then you fussy cut it. Um, I have not tried to put post-it notes through my scan and cut, so I did just cut this by hand. And then you can save it right on top of the, um, your packaging. And then we're going to use the beach scene. So these are the two that we're going to be using. And you stamp backwards. So I'm actually going to stamp the little bug first. Now this bug is actually drawn off of a picture of my car, which is kind of an exciting thing. Um, and the little boy on the front, and wait a minute, I'm going to get the right kind of paper here, um, is actually my grandson. So that's why it's called Mason's View. Again, I want to make sure I have it right where I want it. And I also want to use archival ink for this because it's not quite as wet. And it'll dry faster. And that's pretty good the first time. So then we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to take that little mask and we're going to put it right on top of the car. When you cut it, you want to cut just a touch inside the lines because you want your other image to connect and you don't want the paper to overflow at all. So you cut just on the inner part of the lines. So I have the beach scene on here already. Now with the beach scene, they have, and I think I have it right here, I want to show you something. It has little birds in the sky, and whenever you have little birds, you don't want to press in that area because they'll turn into little blobs. So I'm going to press down at the bottom, make sure I've got my magnets out of the way. And you can see now the birds look really nice and light and not blobby. So I just want to check everything else, make sure. And this is the beauty. Pull this off and now it looks like the car is actually right on the beach. And then all that you have left to do is to color it and that's what you end up with. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. Happy stamping!